All right, again, one last time, let's go ahead and break this down if I want to figure out what g prime of x. I see that there's a constant in front here, right? So by using my constant multiple rule, I can basically take this as 1 over x over, um, uh, I'm sorry, negative 1 half over um, d over dx of my x to the fourth plus d over dx. Oops, let's back off that 3 again. So again, in this case, what we'll have is negative 1 half, bring down the 4, bring it down, and then obviously we have to shake it down. So that's 4 minus 1 is going to give x to the third. Bring down the 3, so that's going to be a product of 3, and that's going to be 3 minus 1, which would be 2. Here you're bringing down a 1, which is just going to leave that. And then you take a 1 away from 1 is x to the 0, which is still just 1. And now we can just go ahead and simplify our answer. Negative 1 half times 4 is going to be negative 2 x cubed plus 9 x squared minus 2. I'm breaking everything down for this. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, you could quickly just go from here down to here. Okay, I'm just breaking it down for everybody just so they can kind of see me using multiple properties. But eventually, we should be able to go from here to here. And you won't need to show every single step. Okay. I'm just breaking it down as we kind of get to this. Um, but if you guys are 